Hi elementary friends. This is a guided drawing of a desert tortoise. So just follow along at home and hopefully we'll come out with a great desert tortoise drawing. You can do this either way. You can have a portrait or a landscape with your paper. Um, I'm going to try it landscape though because I feel like the tortoise is going to be a bit longer than it is tall. So I want to give some extra room going landscape. But honestly, either way. We just want to make sure that um, when we draw it, we're trying to get the center, probably the center of the shell, in the center of the paper. So imagine that this is cut in half. So you're aiming right for the center with the tortoise's shell. Let's see how this turns out, okay? First, we're gonna start with the tortoise's head. So you guys know how a tortoise looks because we have tortoises here at school. We have Mikey and Leo as our real life examples, but we're going to make it look like its head is sticking out of its shell and then just turn towards us a little bit. So sort of a circle, but not quite a perfect circle. That's where we're gonna begin. wiggle, trying to make it look a bit more realistic there. Basically, it's a circle shape. The next thing we're going to do is add a little sort of curve behind this circle so that it looks like the tortoise's neck. Okay, so I'm going to come on the side and go just a little bit under. And that should look like the neck for the tortoise. Then we're going to do the tortoise's mouth and his eye. So again, just kind of a squiggly line. And simple. And a little dot for his eye. I'll move my board a little closer here. Maybe that will help you see. Now we're gonna start the shell. And the tortoise's shell, again, it's gonna be a little bit at an angle. So we're going to start uh, like it's on one side of his body, okay? Um, I'm gonna make this the lowest point right here. And I'm gonna connect first to his head, okay? Then I'm gonna go up and over again to his head. Man, I asked you to aim for this center, for the center of his shell, and I'm way off. But it's still okay. I have plenty of room. Okay, now we're going to do the front leg for the tortoise. So you want it to be close to the head, but you want it, of course, down below the head just a little bit, okay? So we're gonna have this front leg. And at the end here, I'm going to do the claws. Of course, they do a lot of digging. They're always making holes, right? So I'm gonna do these little claws coming down. Those look pretty big, huh? You're doing this with pencil, so if you don't like the look of it, you can always erase, make it a little smaller, do light lines. <laughs> now I'm gonna... Way too long. Way too long? Yeah, <laughs> All right. A human hand. A human hand. That's not what we're going for. I'll make them smaller. Grace did not like my claws. Like that? Is that better? Better. I'm doing it, of course, in the Expo marker so that you guys can hopefully see this at home. But with your pencil, no problem. If you think you can make something better, just start it again. All right, so that's his first front leg with the little claws. Now we're gonna do 
underneath his shell. And we're going to wear this. It's what? Oh, it looks good. We're going to go here and across. This is really, when you color it in, this is really faint, like a light, light yellow. You guys have seen that. Still part of their shell, but it looks different than what's on the top. And I'm going to end it open here so that I can add in the other front leg. For the second leg in the front, I'm going to make it look like it's on the move. So it's going to be behind them just a little bit. Let's see if I can do my claws any better. <laughs> Smaller. That look better. I think honestly, I made it too high off the ground. If you did it a little bit lower, that might look even more realistic. So there's the front part. Now we're going to finish up and connect back here. So I'm going to go from his second front leg back like this. And then finally I'm going to give him a back leg, the one that we're able to see. And try again. Small claws in his back leg. Maybe I could go like this. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks better. Still not happy with this one up here. I'm going to shorten it. shell over here looks strange. I'm going to try this again. Like that maybe? I'm even going to give him another eye. I'm going to put this one more on the edge. Got this one. It's more like he's looking at us. Now let's work on the shell. So this one, you know, they have the designs in the top part of their shell. And different kinds of tortoises have different types of patterns. I'm just gonna do a pretty simple pattern. Here, this looks like a polka dot, huh? I'm almost gonna do like a trapezoid. But again, the lines are not perfectly straight, right? Little sunset fish? Oh, Grace has a good idea. She called it a sunset. So she just took the pattern on the top, made it like a little, almost like a little polka dot, and then she just attached from there. Oh, well, it's really good. I'm gonna try it that way. I like how Grace's looks. She looks good. There were lines. So you just make your lines in different places? Yeah, I kind of just swirled it so it like those lines look like that and it just it kind of looks like bricks. It does. It's like a brick pattern. You're right. <laughs> All right. There's our tortoise. Is there anything else that we need to add? I 
if you have a lot of leftover space, like I do, then you can do what we did when we had our, um, our other desert drawing and we did the scorpion. We can add a cactus. Mm -hmm. You can put some desert flowers or you could put some cactus or some just, rocks. yeah, you could just do like, okay, here's the ground. All right. Put some rocks into your picture. Make it look real, right? Desert tortoise, he's somewhere in the desert. However you want to add in, fill in your background, it's great. And that's it for the drawing. Now it's time to stop and add some color to it. You could even take a Sharpie if you're happy with your lines. You don't want to do any erasing, any adjusting. You can take a Sharpie marker, ask your mom and dad for a good surface to do that on, and then outline, and then go ahead and color it in. That'll help your lines to look really nice and sharp. Hope you guys enjoyed that.